Mothers have evolved ways of passing molecules to their babies. They pass it to their calves. When you drink cow's milk, then the particles move from your gut into the blood. And so our idea is simply that we get these particles from cow's milk and load them with drugs and then you could swallow the drugs instead of having to have them infused in your arm. Instead of coming in for the infusion, oh my lord, that'd be terrific. I could go on a cruise and take it with me. Chemotherapy is um, really inconvenient for people, right? You got sick people and oftentimes they need to go into the hospital. My gosh, it takes all day. Get here at the crack of dawn, I go home at six o'clock at night and they give me six straight treatments. It's very expensive, and it's very hard on the patient. They get exposed to other sick patients, so most people are much better off staying at home. Initially, our, our experiments loaded them with dye, and then we'd take those particles loaded with dye, and we'd feed them to mice. So mice have a similar system. They, the mother mouse passes things to the baby mouse. And so we gave them cow's particles with dye, and then we looked in the mouse blood, and we were able to see the dye in the blood. And then ultimately, we could see how long it lasted in the blood, and we could see that it went to all the tissues. It's really fun and interesting how you can take something from milk, <laughs> spin it down, grab it, and put something in it, shove something in that. I called uh, around the Raw Milk Colorado webpage and I was lucky to talk to Pam and Pam uh, hooked me up with some milk. I milk the cows twice a day anyways and so uh, just to get that email of hey I need a little milk is it, it's so simple for me. I think they're amazing animals and when you research what raw milk can do for the human body I already thought it was an amazing product and so yeah, I thought, yeah, I bet we could do this. And the fact that milk could do so much for so many people, I thought that was really an amazing thing. I told her we don't really need much milk. We just need a little bit of milk. Uh, but ultimately, this could change a lot of people's lives. I set up some experiments to try and load our cancer drug. We have had some success, limited success, in loading the drug, but it's just not enough to probably be therapeutically beneficial. So I'm trying some different formulations to try and increase the amount of drug that gets loaded. I make magic happen. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm confident that I can get this to work. If not this drug, then another drug for sure. Once you get those particles out and load them with drug, you can put them back into anything. You could freeze them, you could dry them. Patients would love to eat an ice cream cone instead of having to come in for you know an infusion of chemotherapy. Especially if it came along with ice cream and hot fudge. Dr. Antidoki, I hope I pronounced it right. Thank you for having a curious mind.